The Matahari Enigma, The Mystery of the Perseus File, and The Falcon's Plan. In a forgotten corner of the world, in the Dutch city of Leeuwarden, in the year 1876, Margaretha Zell was born, a girl who would become one of the most mysterious and controversial figures in modern history, Matahari, the legendary spy. Her story is an intertwining of reality and fiction, a dance of seduction and betrayal, shrouded in mystery and suspense. Her childhood and adolescence hinted at nothing of the fabulous destiny that was to follow. Ordinary and unremarkable, Margaretha dreamed of a normal life following a teacher's college. However, at the age of 18, her path took an unexpected turn. Bored with the daily routine, she married an officer and left for Java. There, in an exotic and mysterious land, Margaretha discovered the name Matahari, or Eye of the Day. In Java, she learned about the seductive and mysterious dances of the place, embracing her destiny as a femme fatale. Her life as a wife in the upper colonial class was just a facade for her extramarital adventures, which her husband tolerated helplessly. When they returned to the Netherlands, their marriage unraveled, and Margaretha was thrown into an abyss of despair and uncertainty. The year 1902 finds her without means of subsistence, pushing her towards a crucial decision to practice dance, her secret passion. Arriving in Paris, the city of lights and decadence, she adopts the name Matahari and begins to conquer the stage with her provocative dances, a mix of eroticism and mystery. In Paris, free from any constraint, her life becomes a carousel of amorous adventures, most with high-ranking officers. The outbreak of World War I marks the beginning of the end for Matahari. Initially remaining in Paris, she decides in 1916 to return to the Netherlands, her neutral native country. In The Hague, she begins to practice espionage, an activity that seemed to come naturally to her. Her charm helps her conquer a German diplomat, who promises her money in exchange for information about the French army. Contradictions are numerous in her story. Matahari, accused of obtaining secret information from French officers, is denounced to the French authorities in 1917. Arrested, tried, and sentenced to death by firing squad, her fate remains shrouded in mystery. Her case files, sealed and later partially declassified, leave many questions unanswered. Was Matahari truly a dangerous spy, or just a pawn in a larger game? Her story is marked by unanswered questions. How valuable was the information she transmitted? Who betrayed her? Why did the French government refuse to make the documents public? It seems that Matahari was more of a symbol than a real threat, a femme fatale who fell victim to the power plays and suspicions of wartime. In the end, her image is a femme fatale, combined with xenophobic sentiments and the need for a scapegoat in a bloody war, led to her tragic end. Thus, Matahari remains in history as a symbol of seduction and mystery, an enigmatic figure who eternally dances between truth and fiction, between reality and legend. The Mystery of the Perseus File, the untold story in which Matahari was involved. In the spring of 1916, against the backdrop of the tumult of World War I, a series of mysterious events begin to unfold in the heart of Europe, events that would become known under the codename Perseus File. At the center of this whirlwind of mystery and espionage was none other than Matahari, the famous dancer and spy, whose beauty and intelligence were as lethal as the information she collected. The story begins in Paris, where Matahari, under her real identity, Margaretha Zell, receives an enigmatic mission from an unknown double agent, known only as Orion. Her task was to infiltrate a group of high-ranking German army officers and discover their plans for an imminent attack on the Allied forces. Margaretha accepts the mission, aware of its risks, but also of the potential rewards. In her world, information was currency, and the game of espionage, a dangerous dance on the knife's edge. Donning her Matahari mask, she begins to frequent parties and events attended by German officers, using her charm and intelligence to seduce them and obtain vital information. As she gathers information, Matahari begins to uncover a complex network of betrayal and double dealing. She discovers that Orion, the agent who entrusted her with the mission, is, in fact, an Axis spy, intending to use her to transmit false information to the Allies. Realizing she is caught in a trap, 
Matahari must find a way to escape and save her own life. As she approaches the truth, Margaretha confronts not only enemies, but also her own inner dilemmas. Would she remain loyal to France, the country that offered her freedom and fame, or follow her survival instincts and escape this deadly game? In search of answers, she undertakes a perilous mission to Berlin, where she discovers a plot that could change the course of the war. In the end, Matahari returns to Paris with crucial information that could save thousands of lives. In a tense meeting with French intelligence officers, she reveals the true nature of Orion and the German plot. However, in a tragic twist of fate, she is arrested by the French authorities, wrongfully accused of treason and spying for the Germans. Her swift trial and execution are dark moments in the history of espionage. However, the true story of Matahari, her espionage games, her courage, and her sacrifice remain shrouded in mystery, a testament to the turbulent times in which she lived and fought. The Perseus file remains an unclarified page in the annals of history, an unwritten chapter in the legend of Matahari, the dancer of destiny and the mistress of espionage. The Perseus file, the double game in which Matahari is involved. The mystery around the Perseus file deepens as Margaretha Zell, known as Matahari, weaves her way through a dangerous network of espionage and betrayal. At the heart of this labyrinth lies information of vital importance to the fate of the war, information that only she could discover and deliver. The story reaches its climax on a cold night in Berlin. After months of infiltration and mystery, Matahari prepares for the most dangerous part of her mission. Disguised under a false identity, she attends an extravagant ball organized by the German High Command. Here, among waves of champagne and forced laughter, lies the key to the entire mystery, a secret document known as the Falcon Plan, which reveals the German strategy for the upcoming months of conflict. Matahari uses all her skills of seduction and intelligence to get close to the German officer who possesses the document. Their dance, a mix of elegance and tension, is a prelude to the espionage game that follows. In a moment of inattention from the officer, she manages to steal the document, hiding it in her extravagant dress. With the document in her possession, Matahari makes her way to the meeting point with her contact from the French intelligence services. But the road is not without danger. The streets of Berlin are filled with spies and traitors, and every shadow could hide an enemy. In a dangerous game of cat and mouse, she navigates through the streets, avoiding traps and pursuits. As she approaches the meeting place, a sense of unease overtakes her. She feels that something is not right. At the moment of the meeting, she faces an unexpected betrayal. Her contact is actually a double agent, intending to hand her over to the German authorities. In a dramatic turn, Matahari manages to escape at the last moment, using her ingenuity and fighting skills. Fleeing to the French border with the document hidden on her person, she is aware that every second counts. Finally, after many perils, she reaches Paris and hands over the document to French officials. This brave act should have ensured her safety and recognition, but instead, she finds herself caught in a new web of suspicions and accusations. Wrongfully accused of treason and spying for the Germans, Matahari is arrested and brought before a military tribunal. Here, in front of judges who seem unwilling to believe her story, she realizes that she is just a pawn in a much larger and darker game. Her sentencing to death, a tragic end for a woman who risked everything to serve her adoptive country, remains one of the most controversial and mysterious episodes in the history of espionage.